Hi, today I'm going to do some stuff with some airplane avionics. So most people, even if you're not familiar with airplanes, you probably know what an altimeter looks like. Um, it tells you how high your airplane is. It's kind of useful. Um, this is an old altimeter. I don't know just how old it is. It probably says on the back someplace. Maybe in 1989. It looks like the date code. Uh, it was out of a working airplane. These are generally a, a mechanical device, an altimeter. Air pressure goes in the back. Um, there's a bellows inside of it, and the bellows will turn some gears and stuff and make the pointers move around, and you'll know how high you are. Uh, there's generally two pointers. One is for uh, thousands of feet, the other is for hundreds of feet, and there's some correction that you can do for barometric pressure. That's to let the pilot uh, know how high the airplane is. Now, to let air traffic control know how high the airplane is, there's usually something called an altitude encoder. Now, this hooks up to the transponder. Um, there's a variety of these things, from very old ones to very new ones. This is a sort of a middle-of-the-road one here. It was uh, last released for maintenance in 1990. Let's see if there's any kind of a date code on it. I don't see, I don't see anything that really tells when it was manufactured. Uh, but what these things do is uh, they also have a tube hooks up to uh, outside air and it measures the air pressure and on the back it sends out a signal that tells your transponder how high you are and your transponder tells air traffic control so they can tell all of the other planes out there that uh, you know there's some plane at you know 10,000 feet for example. Um, a while ago I was going to build a project. So some time ago I decided I was going to try to build some avionics uh, test equipment. This is going to be the first one I built and this was going to be an altitude encoder tester. So it's uh, based on parallax propeller because a lot of my early projects were based on that. It's got a uh, numeric readout and it's got this bar graph display that, that shows the state of some pins. It's got some connectors down here for hooking up to your uh, altitude encoder. Uh, power in, voltage regulators. Uh, this here is a 3 to 8 multiplexer for driving uh, the display, so we can multiplex the displays. Uh, EEPROM for the uh, propeller and uh, dropping resistor for the uh, LEDs. And the idea here with this is that you could plug this thing into your altitude encoder and you'd be able to read out what the altitude encoder says the current altitude is. So I've got this project up on the website. Uh, there's code for it if anyone wants to know how to uh, read from an altitude encoder. I've got a table. Okay, so let's try this thing out. I've plugged it into the uh, back. You can kind of see I plugged it into the back of the altitude encoder. Uh, it's kind of annoying the way it comes out. I, the hose is going right over the top of the displays, but I'll pull it over so you can look at it. And now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn it on. switch on my power supply runs off of uh, 12 volts when I turn it on it's currently pulling uh, about 850 milliamps and what we'll see later is there's actually a uh, there's a heater inside of this thing and the uh, the heater heats up the the temperature sensor to the point where it gets a uh, consistent temperature I'm going to actually shut off the room lights to make it easier to uh, see the displays little better picture. Um, 870 milliamps, that means the uh, the heater's still running, it's still warming up. And we can see from the, uh, the bar graph there is no uh, gray code output. Well, up oh, there, it just heated up. Um, so the heating element has just heated up, it's just uh, turned on. Uh, we dropped down to 175 milliamps on the current draw and you can see our, our 10 segment display down here is telling us which lines are lit up and this is currently telling us that the encoding altimeter thinks we're at about 600 feet and the way it works is it, it has a gray code encoding there's a total of nine gray code lines that go from the uh, altitude encoder to the transponder and you can see those lit up on my, uh, my bar graph display so this is the uh, least significant line over here and then over here on the ninth one will be the most significant line. They're in groups of three, so they go... 
Okay, I'm going to try to uh, manually adjust the pressure by putting this, uh, I'm going to adjust the air pressure using my mouth. Um, I'll be careful not to actually uh, inhale anything from the 40-year-old uh, electronics. Let's give it a shot, and uh, as I reduce the pressure, you'll see the gray code change and the altitude go up from 600 feet. Let's give it a shot here. So as you can see, we did get up to about uh, 10,000 feet worth of uh, reduced air pressure. And you know, as we did that, the gray code changed, the, uh, the altitude reading changed. It's just a table lookup I have in the software that translates the gray code values to the altitudes. Um, if we apply pressure instead of reducing pressure, here I'll blow into the tube this time, uh, then we should see the numbers go down. There, I brought it down to zero, and uh, you know, it can actually read negative. I think that's what you're seeing when the display went kind of a uh, little bit weird there for a second. Uh, so that is the uh, the altitude encoder tester in play. I was actually thinking about uh, manufacturing and selling these. I figured I could make them pretty cheap, and you know, um, avionics test equipment uh, sells for a small fortune. So I figured even me producing them cheap ones I could still make a heck for profit but I never got around to doing it because I really didn't want to deal with you know the legal ramifications of selling something that could be used to uh, test an airplane for uh, safety um, okay so next let's uh, take the encoding uh, the altitude encoder apart and see what's inside of it okay so let's take it apart um, it is a uh, Narco AR850 altitude reporter is what it says. Um, this is uh, the same uh, type that's installed in my airplane, though I had no actual uh, intention of ever using it because, you know, being it came from uh, eBay, did not come with the appropriate uh, paperwork for airworthiness. Its sole purpose was to uh, be used to test the uh, altitude encoder tester. Now when I got it, um, you know, you always have to be careful what you buy on eBay because any used equipment you buy on eBay tends to not work. Uh, this was no exception. Um, I believe the listing said it was out of a working airplane ready to use. You know, obviously not because it did, you know, have the appropriate tags, but um, there was actually uh, I believe there was a voltage regulator or a resistor or something in it that was burned out. So I had the great pleasure of trying to design an altitude encoder tester for an altitude encoder that was itself uh, broken. So there's a clip that holds this air pressure line in. Let's see if we can get that off with the needle nose. There we go. Um, some screws to hold the, uh, the circuit board in. Something a little smaller than that. Got the PC board loose. It's going to take to get it out of here now. I 
I know I've had it out of here before. Up. Oh. Yeah, the uh, voltage regulators. Still mounted to the case. Now will it slide out? Still a bit hung up. I know we've done this, how did we do it? I think what we have to do, we have to bend this tab out of the way. Yeah, then I think, I hope, give it just enough give. There, there we go. Okay, got plenty of light now. We can take a look. So this uh, this 41 or this uh, 40 pin chip, I would assume, is the CPU. It's an Intersil ICL7109 CPL S8742. Um, I bet this thing here is probably an old EEPROM and that sticker is, you know, maybe that's to keep the uh, ultraviolet light from the um, from erasing it. Uh, that's how those old ones worked, is you would uh, erase them with UV lights that put a sticker over it so it can't get inadvertently erased on itself. Probably the uh, version number, um, version number 25 or 0.25. Hoping your airplane, you actually got to version 1.0, but you know who knows. Um, there's some ULN 2003As. There's two of those. I will bet you, looking at them, yeah, those all run over here to the output so those are providing the uh, those are Darlington drivers they are driving these uh, the the gray code lines that come out here and go to the uh, to the to the transponder um, those Darlington drivers what they do is they'll pull a signal down to ground so it works uh, on my uh, tester um, I had over here uh, this resistor network pulled everything up to 3.3 volt and then the Darlington arrays inside of the altitude encoder uh, pull things to ground, or they let them uh, let them rise back up to uh, to high, and that's how they send the signals out. There's uh, two regulators. Pull it out to where I can see it. There's a this one is a 7808. That one's a 7805. So the part that I had to replace when it came to me that it was broken was this resistor right here, which uh, appears to be a 220 ohm. It's been a while since I fixed this thing, and I think it was just, you know, it was obviously burned in half or something. Um, and then, of course, that had something to do with this voltage regulation. It wasn't regulating the voltage, wasn't outputting the right signals. It was kind of all screwed up, typical uh, eBay condition. So the air pressure sensor is, of course, going to be inside of this foam block. I don't know that I really want to tear that apart because that'll probably uh, probably ruin it to do that. Let's see if it. Huh? There. Let's see what we got. Um. Huh. Yeah. There's some kind of a. 2N6387 uh, connected to this body here. I don't know. Uh, there's a resistor. Let's see how many ohms is that? 22 ohm maybe? Let's get the, let's get the uh, voltmeter out and check it. Ah, that is a, uh, a 2.5 ohm resistor. So, you know, it's 
Then there's some other package um, down here in the bottom, very bottom down there, which is listed as a uh, as an Elson WA109. It's uh, got two pins. Let me tell you uh, else about it. Whatever is inside of this, uh, whatever's inside of the pressure sensor, I really can't tell. I don't see any part numbers. I don't see any obvious way to get inside of it. Uh, we've got a lot of other parts. So over here on the side, there's a couple of pots, which are marked on the uh, for external adjustment for low and high. Uh, here, let me get that to where you can look at low and high. Uh, this one to be the high adjust, and that's the low adjust. Of course, this is an analog sensor. It's not a digital sensor. Uh, this here is an MC3358P1. Um, I'll have to look that up and see what it is. Whatever these uh, cans are here, they are marked uh, LT1008. There's no indicator what uh, what these pots what uh, well there is for that one, but this pot here there's no indicator what it does. You know maybe maybe it's something to do with the uh, temperature. I don't really know. But there you have it. That is the. Uh, the inside of an AR850 altitude encoder. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.